I like to go back to basics when trying to explain why a fire happens, because it takes many different things to make a fire happen. It takes three ingredients. So you need it to be warm and dry, you need fuel to burn, and you need an ignition source. And we had all three of those coming into the end of December, in fact. And one key piece of this is it was super hot and it was super dry. It was the warmest June through December on record across the Front Range, going back to the 1960s. We had fuel to burn. Um, we had a relatively wet spring that grows up our grass fuels and essentially they dried out over the fall and the winter. And, you know, we haven't gotten a lick of moisture as well. And so those two things made it prime conditions for fire to happen. And then we also had an ignition source. So we had um, a human caused fire, it's still under investigation, but, um, Ignitions in the middle of winter don't happen naturally. We don't have natural lightning ignitions happening at this time of year. So those three factors came into play, kind of set the stage for this event to happen. Now, what made it a disaster were two other things. One, we had very high winds. We had winds that were moving at over 100 miles an hour, pushing that fire through grasses that were very fine, easy to ignite. And so that fire was moving very fast. Um, and then on top of that, there was a lot in the way. So since the 1990s, um, We've built a lot of homes, essentially, between the Denver metropolitan area and Boulder. And so there were thousands of homes that were literally in the line of fire. In Western U.S. forests, we've seen that there's been a doubling of forests that have burned since the 1980s, which is directly linked to how dry our fuels are as a function of climate change. And we also know on a national scale, our risk is increasing because we're, we're continuing to build more and more homes into flammable places. And across the U.S., my team has documented that there were over a million homes within wildfire boundaries roughly over the last two decades. And there were another 59 million cumulatively that were within a kilometer of those wildfires. So there's a lot at risk. And I think what the Marshall Fire demonstrates for us is that that risk has increased over just the last couple of decades. And it's gonna to continue to because more and more people wanna live in beautiful Colorado, but Colorado is also very flammable. You know, we can build better, we can build more firewise, we can burn better using fire to fight future fire, and we, you know, we need Smoky Bear in the suburbs. You know, why don't we talk about how our daily activities can actually provide the ignitions that are starting these fires that threaten our homes? You know, more than 95% of the fires that threaten our homes are actually started by people. They're not lightning ignitions. And so that's another piece of this puzzle that we have some ability to change. There's a lot of things that we can do that we're not thinking about because we haven't really faced this incredible risk that we're living with. And I think the Marshall Fire, you know, a fire event that burns over a thousand homes is an extreme event. You know, that event is not only the most destructive in Colorado history, but it's also in the top 15 nationwide in terms of the, the incredible destruction that we saw. So what we need to do moving forward is take heed of how much we really do have at risk to, to wildfires and changing wildfires that are going to become more frequent as a function of changing climate. You know, we're living with a certain amount of lock-in in terms of warming that we're going to be living with over the next couple of decades because of greenhouse gas emissions that we've already pumped into the atmosphere. Um, so we're not going to change this train or not get off this train anytime soon. So we do really have to think about and, and change the risk that we're living with um, in terms of lives and property um, in the face of changing climate and increasing wildfires.